Hello, David Zritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. Summertime and the living is easy. That's how the song goes, but it's not always easy when you follow the Bond lifestyle. Take today for an example. I've been invited and I'm going with Danielle to my brother's barbecue. He's having a barbecue and there's going to be a lot of people. There's going to be great food and it's outside, of course, and it's going to be up to what? 85 degrees Fahrenheit? Humid, muggy, sunshine, all right. So as somebody that, that wakes up in the morning and thinks about what am I going to put on from a bun standpoint, I don't know. I, I think a, a tuxedo, a white tuxedo is maybe a little overdressed. This might be a little underdressed. And you know something? I have to be transparent with you. I woke up with, a, um, with kind of a, a taste of Sean Connery in my mouth. Boy, that, that, that sounded so much better in rehearsal. Let me, let me explain. I, I felt like in a Connery mood. I felt nostalgic. I felt, uh, you know, 1960s. Yes, I'm going to a barbecue, but how do I have that Bond style element even at a backyard barbecue? Can I do it without frying in the sun? And immediately what came into mind was Kentucky. Well, not so much Kentucky as Stoke Poges, yes, because this outfit right here, the Slazenger, you know it well, with the hat and the charcoal pants, it's become iconic. It's, of course, when James Bond and Goldfinger, <laughs> they really just connect together and go tete-a-tete -tete for that amazing gold brick, and it starts the whole love affair that they do not have. I wanted to capture that, but how do I do that in a barbecue form? I, I could wear the sweater and the slacks, and I would also be a puddle of sweat by the end. Not a good bond look, that's all I'm saying. What did Q say, never let them see you sweat? Yeah, let, let's go for that. So I figured I would capture elements. And that's an important topic because we always preach here, we have a lot of people that contribute to the show that talk about doing bond in your own way, in your own style, making it fit the environment, the element. And if we're gonna be in the element of a backyard with 85 degree, heat blaring down on us. Let's think about the element. Now, I'd, I'd love to wear this, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is capture the feel, and I'm going to capture the color elements. So right away, you're soaking in it. It's like a palm olive commercial. I'm wearing, let me get up close so you can see it, the terry cloth. This is the Dr. No homage piece, but it's in a wine color from Olabar Brown. You can see it right here in all its glory. And I've done a quick little piece on this. By the way, this is a size medium. We always talk about sizes here. Just deal with it. Um, I am a 40 chest, 31 inch waist, and the medium fits me perfectly. I love the way Olabar Brown fits my body type. It's not for everyone, but if it is, very nice. So I've decided to take these color elements here. Now, you also notice that Connery, with this outfit, wears these charcoal pants. So I'm like, I'm not wearing pants today. I am going to wear shorts. So I decided to actually, you can see them here. I'm not going to show off my legs because, uh, you know, I don't even know the meaning of leg day. I should, but it's, nah. So you don't want to see those. But basically what I'm wearing right here, you can see, is the uh, setters. They, they are the homage piece from Thunderbolt that Olabar Brown did in a bunch of different colorways. They did pinks and blues and dark blues and denim blues, and they did this charcoal. So what I've done is I've paired it with this top to create that Stoke Poges Connery James Bond look coloring. I've got it all down pat. But that's not all, because again, I, sun's going to be blaring down on me. Let's just be realistic. It's gonna be blaring down on me. And I don't know if you could tell by the coloring on your TV or computer or your phone, however you're watching this, I'm nearly translucent. Yeah, I don't tan. I just crisp up and fry like Goldfinger, not like Bond. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna protect myself. But again, I'm trying to create that Goldfinger golfing look. What am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna to go to the source. So this is my, uh, this is my amazing Lock & Co. Hatters from James Street, London. And this is the Palm Springs hat, but it is the Goldfinger hat, right? It's just different band. But I'm going to be wearing this as part of my outfit. Now, 
This is going to keep the sun off my face. I'll still have SPF. Don't, you, don't anybody worry out there, but it'll keep the, the sun off my face. But more importantly, it's very stylish. You know, it's not a typical sun hat. It's not a baseball hat. I don't think I'm gonna do a baseball hat with this outfit, but I am, again, putting this together and you can start to see how we're starting to complement this look. This is the fun of the Bond lifestyle and making it your own but we're not done yet. Sounds like an infomercial, but wait, there's more. I also woke up this morning thinking Connery because that NATO band from Goldfinger, that's just so amazing. So I'm doing my own look. I'm gonna tie it with my Omega Spectre watch. You can see it right there and you can see the, the band really, it fits the moment. It fits the environment. This is a backyard barbecue. I'm not gonna wear anything too steely or too uh, fancy, little rough and tumble, who knows, there may be corn holing. it's a game, it's a game. Uh, you don't know the activities I'm gonna get into, the mayhem that could occur. So the Spectre 300 NATO band is going to move with me, it goes with this very relaxed outfit. Now you would think I'd be done. I'm not done, I talked about that glaring sun, so I'm going to take the Joes. Now the Joes, Barton Pereira Joes, they're not seen in Goldfinger, of course, but they have that look, right? They have this, look at a little blues brothery here, but they have that look, that 1960s vibe look that I think harkens back very nicely and it fits the bill. So all of these together, and I'll kind of stick these here when I'm not wearing them, all of these together are going to create a look that although I'm going to be realistic and say I'll probably stand out a little bit, I'm being believe it or not, <laughs> authentically myself, but I have that invisible nod to Goldfinger. Danielle's gonna recognize the color scheme. She's gonna be like, that all looks familiar. My brother will definitely ask about the hat, but I've got a story. You know, I've got, I can take off my hat and say, um, let me explain why this hat is, is kind of special. And um, dare I say, I'm, I'm on brand. So anyway, just wanted to put those things together and show you very quickly that this is just one example. Can you imagine, just imagine the combinations of things that you can put together to create your own Bond moment, your own Bond lifestyle environment during the summer. Yeah, it's, it's a mix and match situation, but it's a lot of fun too. And listen, it's not so serious, all right? There's enough seriousness out there. Anyway, that was just a little quick bit. I've gotta get going, I've gotta get to a barbecue. There's meat to eat. I will talk to you all later. This has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience, and we'll see you all real soon. Oh, take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information, plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you, just because we know you. Talk to you soon.